November 6, 2020. This will be the day that you all will awake, or at least get a taste of something that's awakeness. -ness. Um, our life, our world, is it really real? Or are we just in a big matrix? What's Gucci gang? What's Gucci squad? It's your boy Young Mike back at it with another fire video. Sorry for the wait, y'all. So let's get to the business, man. Are we living in the matrix, bro? Now, this being said, it kind of does spark my mind. And it kind of makes me realize a whole bunch of things. I'm not talking about when I started doing research. I'm talking about since before I started doing research. What made me want to do research. Because I've been experiencing things that are just really weird. So, while I'm telling y'all this, I'm about to be rolling up a Fronto. And we about to get lit, you feel what I'm saying? You know, we, we talk about a lot of stuff, like weird stuff, like people seeing aliens and basically like UFOs. And if you want to know what a UFO stands for, a lot of y'all know, um, UFO stands for unidentified flying object. That doesn't mean it's an alien though. You know what I'm saying? It's just unidentified. So that being said, I feel like our whole world, our whole existence is unidentified. Now let me explain to y'all why. So we are all born on earth, right? Now, when we're born on earth, what are we born into? Guess what we're born into, y'all? We're born into what's already here. So guess what we grow up knowing? What's already here? I'm barely 21 years old, you know? Imagine the people that are on this earth right now. Um, that's been here since 50 years old, 100 years old. They're born on this earth just like us. And they're born into this existence to where all we know is this world. All we know is the laws. All we know is somebody controlling us through, through, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just weird. Because, was there ever a time, can y'all ever remember a time where we didn't have the laws and we didn't have fucking government corruptions and, you know, you can't. Because guess what? We were all born into this world. So, therefore, we think this world is real but it's because we were born into it let me explain something different to y'all it's like we're in a cave say you were born in a cave you know and all you knew was the cave because you couldn't find a way out of the cave yet so all you knew it was cave and and all you knew was shadows and shit like that you feel and, and, and bugs and shit so boom that's all you knew that's your whole world you grow up living like that every single day you think that's normal because you never see nothing different but as soon as you step out that cave that's that's when you realize that there's so much more in this world. You become awoke. You wake up. We are all in a fucking cave right now. And as soon as y'all realize that shit, that's when y'all will wake up. But I'm still not even woke. Because guess what? I'm not out the cave yet. We are in a cave. So when you say Matrix, when, when I say Matrix, when we say Matrix, you got to think of it as a cave, not some fucking bullshit ass movie that you've seen in the 1900s. I don't fucking know 1990s fucking bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? So let me roll this up real quick. And I just rolled up a fat ass Fronto. Um, yeah, let's spark this shit up, man. I don't think my light is big enough to do this. But anyway, you guys, besides that, um, we basically are living in the matrix, bro. Like, things ain't what it really seems. You feel what I'm saying? <sighs> Bitches that gas. Whole lot of trouble they be on your ass. I was in the back of the class with the racks and the packs in the back. Gotta get us on the map. I don't care about the strap. Little boy get clapped. I be in the trap and I be on my Mac. I don't care about rap man on and all packs. I'm a real trap and get you back for a sack. Trapped in the cave. You feel what I'm saying? And in this cave, bro, it's hard to get out. You know, maybe the entrance is blocked. Maybe the cave is outside this world. You feel like what if our world is getting controlled by satellites and we think that the satellites are the sun and they have the nerve to tell us that winter is going to be the worst for the coronavirus. Now, in my head, I'm like, bullshit. It's only worse because y'all making it worse. Why are y'all putting chemtrails in the sky when we need the sun at times like this, especially during this fucking pandemic? And y'all going ham with the fucking chemtrails. If y'all don't know what ham means, hard as a motherfucker on the chemtrails. If you look up in your sky right now, if you live in a local city, hopefully, even if you're in a motherfucking country, you will see some chemtrails. And it's kind of crazy to think about. It's really crazy to think about. Because why the fuck are y'all blocking the sun at times when we need it? Do y'all want us to fucking die? Do y'all want to? What's going on? Maybe they want us to get a cure. A cure that we don't even need. I cut my hand open the other day. 
You see that cut right there? Kind of looks fucked up still, but hey, I cut my hand open and it was slid open. I'm talking about I needed stitches. You think you need stitches. You think you need stitches. Guess what? I said, fuck that. I know I could heal. Yeah, it will come open and I'll start bleeding like a motherfucker, but fuck it. I closed it back up with the band-aid and that bitch healed on its own. But you know what the doctors would tell you? You need stitches. It's what they put in our minds that we believe that it's true. When really in reality, it's not. All this propaganda media bullshit that they're feeding you, they're just covering stories. They, they will be on it. Anything they could put out, they will be on it telling you bullshit. Telling you to stay inside, wear your mask. Guess what? We getting more sick wearing these masks because people can't afford to wear a new one every fucking day. And people damn sure don't wash them every day. So guess what? The germs stay on that bitch and we end up getting more sick because of these fucking masks. Nigga take that shit off and throw that shit away. He was reusing a non-reusable mask because niggas don't got money to be buying masks every day. Like what the fuck? It's not about money. It's about these niggas want to get us sick or something. Y'all want to put, yeah, I, I, I feel like they want us to make us believe that we need a cure once the cure comes out. That we're going to have to get scanned in these stores to make sure we have the cure or we will not be allowed in the stores. Our rights are already being violated. Why the fuck I can't walk in the store without a mask if I'm not sick? Bitch, have a fever machine, nigga. We have our rights, nigga. Next thing you know, we're going to need a cure to walk inside a store. It's going to say, must have cure. Boom. They're probably going to scan us to make sure we got the cure. Real shit. We're having hologram shits that we're not even going to know what's real no more. It's probably already out. Time travel's already been. And they're coming back in time or whatever it is. It's already happening. All of us are fucking dumb as fuck and we don't realize shit. Only the woke, but still the woke, we still don't know nothing. I still don't know nothing. We only know what we know, and they want us to know this shit. Obviously, it's put out for the public. Imagine what we fucking don't know. That's what we gotta be woke about. That's what we gotta have a little, you know, like sleep with your eye, one eye open type shit. No Illuminati shit. I'm just saying, like, keep that extra, that third eye behind your back or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's about to get ugly. Y'all think it's ugly right now? It's just begun. It's just fucking begun. That's why I'm making this video. I could fucking be making happy videos. Oh, I'm smoking all the fucking half family. Nah, bro. I'll do the same thing while giving y'all encouragement to, to wake up and while giving y'all, you know, awareness. White Ash Gang, boy. That shit's super white. It's super white. It's right. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cap. It's really scary because what's to come? You know, and, and there was a book made in the 1900s. If I watched my first Exposing the World video, I was exposing Donald Trump as a time traveler. And I had all the proof and all the links to how it's very much 75% chance. It went from a 50-50 to a 75% if you watch this video. How I break it down in the information, all that stuff, man. How this motherfucker and his uncle was working with that mother... It's just so much shit that you have to watch that video to understand. Now... In that video, it talks about this book called The Last President. Now, if Donald Trump doesn't become the president, this, to, it still hasn't became. If y'all watching this, it's Friday. You ain't got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. But, besides that, the election. If Donald Trump becomes president, I think we got four more years of fuckery. And in those four years, it will be all fucked up. But if he doesn't become president, it will be more fucked up because he's called the last president. So what's soon to come? Why is the delay fucking happening like three days? They saying they're getting fake votes because the votes are done at 10 p.m. And the motherfucking votes were coming in randomly skyrocketing at 3 a.m. Come on now, wake up people. Our world is being planned out. What I'm telling you now it's, I probably already told y'all five times, six times, seven times in past previous lives like this, nigga. I'm here doing this. It's already happened, you know? Y'all, this probably sounds weird and funny, but it's not funny or weird. It's weird because y'all don't understand. Y'all gotta realize, when, we're, when we were born, we were born into this world. So what we think is this world, it may not be. It may not be like all this could be not assimilation, 
but more like something that is really not, you know? Now, that being said, imagine when we wake up and step outside the cave. Imagine when we step outside the cave, y'all. When we step outside the cave, let me like this shit, bro. Hold on, man. What the fuck? Turn. Don't burn. Come on, come on. Who knows if it's going to be a better world than we what we know. We think, you know, all this is evil and all this is bad. But what if we wake up and it's something worse, bro? What if we wake up and it's something worse, bro? What if we wake up in this world that we think that is bad? What if the world we wake up in is something worse, bro? They making they sugarcoat in this world. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as we wake up. It might be even more worse because we're going to want to go back to this and be thinking, damn, I was happy. At least I pretended I was happy. You know what I'm saying? Instead of a world that you know is woke, you never know that woke world could be heaven. When we die, we could die out of the simulation and enter the real world, which is heaven probably. You ever thought about that? There's no way to wake up from this world, but nobody's lived to tell what happens when you die, you know? So what if somebody actually dies? I don't know, man. This is hard, man. It's not like you could put a camera in your soul and see what's on on the other side you know it's really hard bro when will we wake up how can we wake up physically mentally spiritually 2020 vision is supposed to happen 21st of december 25th and on the 20 december 20 and on december 25th that's when it's gonna happen for seven days lasting if nothing happens December 25th of 2020, then I believe that there's no coming out of this simulation. If we don't wake up with 2020 vision, which is perfect vision, if we don't wake up with 2020 vision in 2020, there's no waking up after this, bro. We are stuck in this simulation. Supposedly on December 25th, the Great Conjunction is supposed to have a different effect on the whole earth. It's never been a conjunction like this. If you look it up, I'm serious. This conjunction is so different. They're saying that we're going to have 2020 vision. That that when this happens, the mag electrical magnetic wave that's going to start from the North Pole and it's going to spread out. This magnetic wave, if we come out to the toxins that spread out, it will be toxins to the people that are not on a good diet. To the people that have high irons. So this month, I need y'all to change y'all diets up before it's too late. Stop with all that fast food. Stop with all that motherfucking bullshit. Drink water. Water is good for us. Water holds memory. Water has been around since forever. Now water could be getting fucked with, but fuck it. At least fucking drink it. You know what I'm saying? It's better than drinking soda all day. Now, motherfucking irons, fucking fast foods and motherfucking meats and shit like that, man. It's time to take a break, at least until December 25th, man. Get your proteins from motherfucking protein shakes and shit like that. You don't gotta do meats. You feel what I'm saying? That being said... Diets, we need to change that because when this electrical magnetic wave happens, it will create toxins in the air that will be harmful to the public. Radiational waves that will be harmful to the public. It's not like 5G is already harmful as it is anyway, like they give a fuck about radiation. But they will tell you stay in your homes. The woke people know that this fucking radiation will give you supernatural abilities. I'm not talking about superpowers like you'll have motherfucking mind control or a supersized dick. No, you will have 2020 vision. Perfect vision. I'm talking about you will see the world in a whole nother way. People are saying that if you try DMT or something like that, I believe that's what it's called and you get it out of a toad, um, that you get that 2020 vision, that you get that, that spiritually awakeness. So drop 20,000 likes and I'll fucking try DMT. Real talk. No, man, I can't say that. Don't, no, don't do that. So I'm hoping we could all be awoke on December 25th and actually see what this world really is. If y'all haven't already tell that, why are they putting all these fucking chemtrails in the sky? It gets to the point where you can't even see the sky, bro. It's all down, you know what I'm saying? And it's weird. It's fucking weird. Well, anyway, guys, that being said, I don't even know what's soon to come, y'all. I just hope that y'all are safe out there. I hope that y'all can spread this to friends, families, whatever. Just get a different pr perspective, you know? Someone told me it's better to be prepared than not to be prepared at all. Or a Christian told me also it's better to believe in Jesus than to die and not believing in Jesus. You feel what I'm saying? Like, why not? Wake up.
What are you going to lose from waking up? What are you going to lose from doing some research? What are you going to lose from actually figuring out what this world is? Be prepared, people. It's your boy, Young Mike. I need 10,000 likes for part four. Whatever, you know, continue this. And I could be explaining so much more. I just need to know if y'all want to see these videos. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I guess I'll finish this. I don't know. We rolling a bigger one up next time, man. So motherfucking 10K likes. Let's get it, baby. And, and, and make sure y'all follow all my social medias down below for new information and updates. Let's get it.